Hello, in this video, I'll be explaining to you about obsessive compulsive disorder. What is obsessive compulsive disorder? And it's just, you know, it happens, nothing to panic. If you have such signs, before, you know, coming to conclusion, have a proper clarity about what is going on with you. Obsessive compulsive disorder is a personality disorder characterized by a preoccupation with orderliness, perfectionism, and mental and interpersonal control at the expense of flexibility, openness, and efficiency. They find it difficult to, you know, get adjusted to situations. They want perfectionism. They, they find it difficult to set priorities in life. They at times get confused. These are few signs about obsessive compulsive disorder. I'll be explaining more about it. It is like they preoccupy themselves with details, rules, lists, order, organization or schedules to the extent that the major point of the activity is lost. Yes. They give so much priority for s small things in life. They find it difficult to, you know, get adjusted to the major changes in life. Because they will be giving more concentration of more and more energy to the minute stuff in their life. And they show perfectionism a lot that interferes with task completion. They can't complete the project given to them on time because they find everything. They, they try to, you know, try to say that they are wrong somewhere. They always, you know, think that they are not trying to do their best. So in that process, their energy is consumed more and they feel more negative inside about themselves. They are excessively devoted to work and productivity to the exclusion of leisure, activities and friendships. Since they are a bit of more of work workaholic, that affects their social and personal life because, because obsessive compulsive disorder, the major, major sign of that people are they are too much into perfectionism and they, they follow each and every rule in the life and if they see anyone, you know, uh, not following the rule in a right way, they get upset because of that also. Again, which affects their interpersonal relationship. They are over conscious and they are inflexible about matters. They, they are, again, they can't accept. They become too inflexible about many matters. They are unable to discard, discard worn clothes or anything which is not needed at home means they have many things in their home which is unwanted. Example, maybe if one TV is there at home, they find it very difficult to throw the old one. If they have bought a new one, they find it very difficult to throw a new one, I mean old one outside. So they keep on, you know, collecting things at home. It becomes like, you know, they just find it very difficult to throw because they have a sentimental value for it. Because they are emotionally weak. Obsessive compulsive disorder people are emotionally weak. They are reluctant to delegate tasks or to work with others unless they submit to exact his or her way of doing things. Yes, they find it very difficult to get along with the group because their way of thinking is different. They are not normally as how we all take life and uh, if, if there are wrong, if there are mistakes, if there is something going on, because each person is different in a group, they can't take that different attitude by anyone. Yes. They show significant rigidity and stubbornness. These are few kind of signs, early signs, as an obsessive compulsive disorder person will have. It's not that we have to come to conclusion. It's always good to, you know, Contact a person who is who is very much knowledge, has knowledge in that. Because we can't come to a conclusion unless if you want to understand what is going on with you, you should consult a doctor. The same thing happens if you want to know what is exactly going on with you. It's, it's good to consult a psychiatric doctor or a, or a counselor. For a you know, few, few stages, it's good to consult a counselor. And if counsellor refers, you can consult a psychologist and psychologist and then again psychiatric if needed more help with medication. 
so it's always good not to come to conclusion but as an early sign this video will help you if you feel that these are there in you and it is not able to control you know you can't control your life it's good to approach a person who is more more knowledgeable in this field and ready to help you out therapists are there so please approach them they'll help you out it's just you can come out of it thank you for watching the video